Hi guys, happy new year. Welcome to 2020. Congratulations. You made it. And I hope your year is starting on a great note. Mine absolutely is. So guys, if it's your first time of watching, please hit the subscribe button so that you get notifications every time I have new videos. So yay, it's 2020. I'm so excited. Unfortunately, it's still winter. <laughs> Yes, winter crossed into 2020 with us. We still have another, what, three months thereabouts of winter. But stay strong, guys. I know, I know the weather could be gloomy, could be cold. But that is why I'm here today, actually. I'm here to share some great tips that has worked for, have worked for me. And I hope work for you as well on how to deal with the winter blues. Trust me guys, this have worked for me and I think trying out some of them might work for you as well. So there's just this thing that comes with winter. First of all, you're less enthusiastic about getting things done. You don't even want to get out of bed. All those things you probably have on your to-do list are just there pending. But above all, you begin to feel unhappy, a bit depressed. You're not alone. It's something that absolutely happens to everyone else. It comes with the weather. But guys, not to worry. I'll be sharing my tips with you on how exactly you can cope with the winter blues and how you can still have a great time regardless of the weather. Okay, don't let it steal your shine, guys. So for me, number one on my list is my all-time favorite. It's a classic. Everyone does it. You can do it in any weather, any time go see a movie in the cinema. It's actually one of my favorite things to do, whether I'm doing it with friends, or I'm doing it alone. I also like that I can either go alone to see a movie or I can go with as many as five to 10 people. Okay, so it's really flexible. I also like the opportunity it gives me to see other people, even though we don't interact. I just like knowing what's happening around. So it just gives me this break, reminds me that there are other people around, the world is still fine. And yes, I enjoy seeing movies on that gigantic screen. So guys, yeah, I buy the salty popcorn, probably buy a drink or something. But for me, it's just about the experience, especially if it's a movie I'm looking forward to. So this is something you can absolutely do, something to get you out of your home, something to get you out of that, you know, depressed mind state. It's something you can do alone. If you don't want to do it alone, you can absolutely drag a friend or two along. Find out what's showing, see if there's anything you're interested in and just go. Don't procrastinate, just go guys. Okay, so that's number one on my list. Number two, you can go have drinks with friends. It could be after work, it could be during the weekend, just anything to just lift your spirit a bit. So for every time I'm invited to have drinks after work with friends, my first inclination is to say no. But then again, I'm like, you know what? So what? There's work tomorrow. This would probably be just what I need to see me through the rest of the week. And for every time I've obliged them, I have never regretted it. It's always been fun. It's always giving me a new perspective to things. It's very creative like me. It's always giving me ideas. So sometimes you just need to break out of that routine. You need to break out from that, go home, go back to work, home, back to work routine, especially in the winter. You know, trust me, it might seem inconvenient at the time of the invitation, but in the end, you'll be happy you went, okay? So that's something else you can do. That's always open. Most bars are indoors. Yeah, yeah, you might not have the patio experience, but that's fine. You can definitely have that in the summer. Indoor bars are just great, as, as, are just as great, are just as fine, okay? So guys, something else you can do, which is absolutely fun at zero cost. You can also get your friends involved is games night. So for games night, it's really, really low budget because you're pretty much telling everyone to bring your own drinks, bring your own food. Everyone grab either a bottle or a tray of something and then if you don't have games already, you can also ask each person to bring a game. Yeah, bring a game from their own homes. And then you guys just get to be all competitive, have fun, just listen to nice music and play. For every time I've had, um, I've gone for games night, it always started with, it was never really planned. It was always, oh, we should have games night, right? Well, when? Okay, let's do it this weekend. Sure, it's on. You know, so it's not something you need to overthink. 
even if there is you're not being invited to anyone you could definitely initiate one all you need are games from card excuse me from card games to board games so even games on your you know games on your phone you know a lot of the time charades and all the other games we play they're actually always on the phone right so yeah games night is something you should absolutely consider tell a friend you can ask them to bring their own friends it's also an opportunity to meet new people anything that brings people together with food and good music is definitely a winner for me so guys games night initiate one say yes to one okay so something else i think you can absolutely do is you can go for indoor sporting activities so sometimes you actually need to pull your mind body and soul together by having these things done okay it's almost a necessity you can go to the gym and work out if that's something you do but even if it's not something you do and you have the opportunity to it's also going to help with your mental health just give it a shot you know just go to the gym get active or go out there are so many indoor game areas um, from arcade games to actual sport games somewhere you can go to is rec room so in rec room whether you like to play tennis whether you like to play board games whether you like to play arcades um, arcade games whether you like to play car race games or whatever games you like you can actually go to places like the rec room or those indoor sporting arenas that have um, um, like my friend my friend plays frisbee yes playing frisbee is an actual game in canada it's indoors so you don't have to worry about being cold and it also helps you burn some calories right so it's a lot of energy chasing after that flying thing <laughs> believe it or not yes yeah. so whether it's um frisbee bowling whatever indoor activity or indoor sport you're interested in just tell one or two more friends and then they tell their own friends as well and there you go so that's something else i think you can do I don't think your social life should be on hold because it's winter. So that's something you should absolutely give a shot. Also, some of the things I feel that are less active but also fun you could do indoors are things like going to um, a dance. Well, no, dance classes are <laughs> quite active. But yeah, that's something else you should do. But what I was actually trying to say are things like going for paint nights, right? Where an instructor shows you how and give you instructions on what to do and you paint you know or make a craft you're not doing it alone you're in a room with other people so it's actually fun you get to meet other people you get to relax you know you just get to do something fun and guess what you get to take your painting home hang it on your wall you can also go to a museum that's one thing winter is actually perfect for because it's indoors you're in this cozy museum just appreciating art learning new things or you could go to places like ripley's aquarium or oh, ripley's aquarium if you live in toronto or any other province or city that has ripley's aquarium it is beautiful you want to go to ripley's aquarium you know you could spend up to an hour in there you know just admiring the amazing work of god um, admiring fishes all species Yes, sharks, sort fishes, electric eels, all sorts. It's all there. So that's something else you can definitely give a shot. Um, you can also go to museums. I recently, well, not so recently, um, I only recently went to Casaluma Castle. Yes, I know. Okay, yeah, it's just there at Spadina. I could go anytime, but it's just something I never did until I did. And I had no regrets. I was there for over two hours and it was beautiful. It was a lot of history. It was a lot of vintage stuff. It was really nice. So if you're in Toronto and you haven't gone to Casaloma Castle, that's also somewhere that is winter perfect. Okay. You could also go to Canada Wonderland. Yes. I know you're thinking this girl is crazy. Who wants to be on all those rides in the winter? But no, in the winter, it transforms to this little winter village. You know where there are a lot of little activities going on music stage plays food drinks it's something you should give a shot lots of light something to lift your spirits you should absolutely give it a shot if you haven't been i haven't been either but i plan to okay so those are some of the things you can do in the winter and guess what you could learn something new as well i tried ice skating last year and I fell flat on my butt so many times. I was the object of many people's laughter, but I didn't mind because 
I was having a good time still, right? When I got tired of crying, I actually just sat down and watched people and it was beautiful. So that's something you can try. It's fine. Many of the skating rinks um, actually rent shoes. Um, they rent those shoes. So even if you don't have those skating shoes, you could just rent one at the skating rink and they are indoor and they are indoor skating rinks as well. Okay. So even if you don't want to skate outdoors, if you feel you might be a bit too cold, you can definitely try the indoor ones. It's going to be absolutely fun. Be daring. Try something new. Okay. <laughs> So yes, guys, and also there is still always the classic Netflix and, well, chill or not chill, but Netflix, whether you're with a special someone or whether you're home alone, I always find myself going back to Netflix when I absolutely feel like, oh, you know what? I, I think I just want to be indoors today. I find myself watching new series, getting recommendations. I recently watched The Witcher and it was quite nice. Um, I like to give myself a little treat. I'm either having a cup of coffee, snacking on something while watching a show, or it could be ice cream on a cone. Don't judge me. Yes, I'm one of those people who actually buy cones. I have cones on my fridge. I buy bowls of ice cream and I make myself a cone when I feel like whatever. I don't care what you're saying right now. But yes, um, it's just something really nice. Just chill, watch something new. Try to watch something you wouldn't normally watch, right? Try documentaries. There are some really nice documentaries on Netflix. And guys, I recently started going back to my... Um, I started joining those YouTube... I started watching those YouTube... Um, streamed YouTube um, series, especially the Nigerian ones. They're actually really nice. Like, um, apart from Ndani, there are many others. There's Red TV, there's Accelerate... I never really watched Ndani's Giddy Up at the time when Giddy Up actually was showing. I just recently started catching up on Giddy Up and it's been really interesting. So trust me, there are so many things to watch at home if you decide to just stay home. If you love audiobooks as much as I do, you can also listen to an audiobook. You could also listen to some podcasts. Whatever you do, it's just about protecting your mind making sure you're not depressed, making sure you're not drifted away by worries, that you are in, you're actually present and you're happy. It all starts with the mindset, okay? Whatever you choose to do, just make sure while doing it, you're happy. Try not to be depressed. And if you feel like you need help, thankfully here in Canada, there are numbers you can call and you can get professional help. So winter or no winter, guys, don't let it dull your shine. You can still have a great time regardless so guys, if you need me to share tips on places you could go, you could actually, and here in Toronto, I, I live in Toronto, so I might not know too many places outside Toronto, but yeah, if you need tips of places you can go in Toronto, slide into my, okay, YouTube doesn't have a DM, send me an email and I would respond. So guys, stay strong and let's officially start counting down to summer. Have an amazing 2020. I'll be seeing you guys a whole lot more. Don't judge me. Yes, it's one of my goals to make more videos, create more content for you. So help me God. So till my next video, guys, stay fabulous. Stay warm. Bye.